Hello guys, welcome back to the Java tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we are going to hopefully do something exciting, which would be different from the previous tutorial. Uh, it's going to be about threads, uh, yeah, and you guessed it, uh, it's going to be a bit more complicated. But I'm going to try to make it simpler and easy to understand. Uh, well, and that is going to be a bit tough for me, but well, I'll, I'm going to try my best, don't worry. So now, what we'll, the next challenge is that I want one thread to start the door thing, and then I'm gonna, you know, uh, like add a sort of. I mean, okay. So I want the thing to do something, and I want it to report the progress to both of the J frames, not just one J frame. It sounds a bit absurd, and why would you do that? And, and this is not a good idea, and that's just absurd, and blah 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 blah. But, well, uh, let's face it, it's a bit challenging. Uh, and, uh, well, yeah, let's do it. So, to do it, first of all, the dual class will have a list of parents, and uh, it's not technically parents, but a list of um, reporting views where it will report the progress. So, list. Uh, sorry, array list parent context equals new array list parent and uh, context dot add yeah and uh, well I guess I need to make an import here. And in here, what we'll have to do is that for each uh, for mm, uh, parent context in context, not in this is not C sharp context, it, it would it would update the progress for each one here. Uh, well, yeah, and uh, I think that is probably it. no. We need to make some changes in the J frame as well. Uh, when you okay, I'm just gonna add another button here. So when this button is clicked, it would report the progress simultaneously to the next thread as well. And uh, I'm gonna increase this to hundred so that it would give us time to add the new one. And uh, this is the this is the old one here. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, I'm just gonna double click this and. Uh, yeah, and before we do that, we need to make the door uh, door thing global. So I'm just gonna say door D, and uh, D equals new door. And when this J button three is clicked, we are gonna, I mean, we are not gonna handle validations here because that's not important. Uh, the important thing is that we get this thing working. So I'm just gonna say door, and first of all, I need another method, or I can just make this public. I'm just gonna say d dot contexts dot add. Um, new J frame, uh, new J frame one. And since passing the uh, references is a bit tough here. I'm just gonna disable the main thing. We are not gonna run this anymore because it's a bit boring. We're gonna run this, and you click this, it's gonna create the new J frame, and it's gonna report the progress to the new J frame. And you will hopefully see the progress bar being updated simultaneously. Run this. <sighs> Come on, and I'm just gonna click this. Click this. So now you can see. The uh, no, the C. So, see the progress being updated simultaneously in both of the J frames, which is extremely good. Let's close this proof. Oh no! Come on, are you joking? Well, yeah. So uh, now you see this progress being updated simultaneously by just one runnable into two separate views, which I find exciting. I don't know if you do as well, but yeah. So that's probably it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope that was helpful to you guys and uh, it was a bit intuitive as well uh, because this would be helpful to you 
when you do MVC and stuff like that, well, you have to report stuff to different views and if you control the class and stuff like that. But that everything uh, about that is uh, is going to be in a bit later stage. Uh, till then, I'm going to see you guys later. Bye bye and have a great one.